There was one way to show everyone at school that you were a cool kid back in the 80s. That was show them your Star Wars action figure collection. But sadly, you couldn't take your Star Wars action figures to school. So how did you let people at school know that you were cool and hip? The only other way, you wore Star Wars shoes. So let's look at some vintage Star Wars shoe wear. Oh. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, running out of things to talk about. Coming back at you with a whole new video. That's right. You're saying, Junk Man, are you so low in that barrel that you're going to talk about vintage Star Wars tennis shoes? I guess so, because that's what we're going to talk about. But who knows? Next week, we might be at the top of the barrel again. Now, before you get all excited and think I'm going to tell you about the making of vintage Star Wars shoes, or I'm going to take you to the plant where they made them, or I'm going to take you deep into the stride right shoe factory and show you all the vintage shoe concepts and prototypes and all that no you're not going to learn probably any information in this video not at least about shoes but i'm just going to look at some vintage star wars shoes and even the one i had as a kid and kind of comment on each one now i'm not going to look at every shoe ever made in the vintage shoe line because i got like 46 of them pulled up and i could have pulled up more and I don't think you want to sit here and watch a two-hour video of a grown man talk about kid shoes. That's kind of creepy. But let's just talk about some of the vintage Star Wars footwear. Now, before we get started, as always, like support this channel, head over to Patreon.com, become a Patreon, become a Patreon supporter, and get exclusive contents like seeing a video about shoes early. Or head to that Jumpman.com and buy a cool t-shirt like this one right over here. Ain't that nice? You go have that on your body. Check it out. And the best way to help out this whips and the best way to help me out is share this content. I know you probably don't want to share a video about kid shoes, but go ahead, share it on your social media. Trust me, your friends and your family will thank you. Now kick off those kangaroo shoes and let's talk vintage Star Wars tennis shoes. First, let's look at Star Wars vintage rain boots. Check these out right here. Here they are, R2-D2 rain boots. That's right, even if you caught out in the rain, you could look stylish in these R2-D2 galoshes. I say galoshes, most people say rain boots. But to me, galoshes is a lot funnier word, at least to me, so I'm going to call these galoshes. That's right, R2-D2 galoshes. Look at them, you can stomp in puddles and everything and feel just like your R2-D2. But that wasn't the only galoshes made. Check out these Brazil galoshes, or water boots, or rain boots, whatever you want to call them, from Brazil. I think I said that already, but they're from Brazil. And they, and it's from the Droids cartoon line. Can you believe it? Yeah, the Droids cartoon line. And the shoes are ugly. Let's not lie about that. They are ugly. But let's look at the box art for these shoes. If you're a Star Wars collector or a Star Wars fan, you would want this shoe box, even if you don't care about it. Even if you don't care about Star Wars shoes. Let's look at a close-up of the box. Now tell me that's not some cool artwork. Is that some kind of Greedo creature capturing somebody? And 3PO's like, oh no, get me out of here! Look at 3PO on this side of the box, laying down like he's taking a nap. I don't know what the outline white figures are right there. It looks like they're kind of transporting or something. I don't really get that. But Now there was a lot of companies that made Star Wars shoes, but there was two main ones. They were Striderite and Clark's. Let's look at some Clark's Star Wars shoes now. Check these Darth Vader ones out. Aren't these ugly? Well, they're from the late 70s, and it just seemed like everything was ugly in the 70s. Even, sadly, these Darth Vader shoes. But at the time, if you had these Darth Vader shoes, by the time, you wouldn't have thought they were ugly. You would have thought you were styling going to school in your Darth Vader shoes to have a picture of Darth Vader over on the side of them. It's pretty cool. But I also like the Clark box. Again, the artwork looks amazing. It says Star Wars on it, followed by the word Clarks, and the artwork of the Star Wars stuff looks good. But when you bought your Darth Vader tennis shoes, you got something free, a bag to put them in. And that's right, Clarks even had a Star Wars bag to put your shoes in when you were leaving the store. And here it is, Star Wars logo with Clark written in yellow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I thought you would enjoy that. And the Clark shoe came with a little tag on the shoe that had a character from Star Wars on it. Here's the Darth Vader one. Now it makes you want to go on eBay and find some vintage Clark Star Wars shoes. I know it does. There was once a man with a one red shoe. Sadly, it wasn't a one red Star Wars shoe. If it was, it probably would look like this right here. Check out this vintage Star Wars red shoe. Kid sizes only. It's pretty cool. It's red with a gold trim. And on the shoelace, it says Star Wars. 
And look around the edge of the shoe. Check it out, guys. It's Darth Vader, Chewbacca, R2-D2 with less colors, and C-3PO. I know you're going to get mad when I say C-3PO, but that's how I always said it. That's how I always thought it was said. I pronounce things wrong. I still say ning -num, although I know it's nine num or something like that. But as a kid, we didn't know. We just had to read what's on the pack, just try to figure it out on ourselves. So they didn't say it in the movie. So I said ning -num, and I still say that today, although I think it's nine num. And I still say four lom like everybody else, although the Kenner commercial said four L-O-M. Never liked that one. But we're here to talk about shoes. We're not here to talk about forelong and how to pronounce words. So let's look at the Tuscan Raider shoe by Clarks. You heard me right. The Tuscan Raider shoe. Yep, the Tuscan Raiders had a shoe themselves. And man, is it ugly. Check it out. Here it is in an ugly brown color. It is one god-awful looking shoe. But you can see, or barely see here, on the side of the shoe, it says... Tuscan Raider. It's kind of odd. There's no picture of a Tuscan Raider here. It just says Tuscan Raider on the side. And I don't even think it says Star Wars on the shoe, other than inside the shoe it says Star Wars. Maybe on the bottom, who knows? I can't find a picture on the bottom of it. But I just thought this was very weird that it says Tuscan Raider on the side. And let's talk about a shoe that I saw almost every day at school. The X-Wing Fighter shoe. Now, I had a Star Wars shoe, and I wore it to school, and I was the only one in class wearing that shoe until my best friend in the world that lived next door to me Boyd, you heard me talk about him before, showed up at school a few days after Christmas wearing a Star Wars shoe. I wasn't the only one in class anymore, and this one was an X-Wing fighter shoe. Did he outdo me? Maybe for the time. I'll get to my shoe later. But don't worry, by the time the Empire Strikes Back came out, I topped his X-Wing shoe. But let's take a look at his X-Wing shoe. Here it is, a blue and orange. What a great combination. It's got a picture of an X-Wing on it, although it's not really detailed. But look at it, orange shoelaces. I mean, can you beat orange shoelaces? Just looking at this picture, it reminds me of growing up and seeing my friend Boyd in his shoe. I think he was actually wearing those shoes one time when I hit him with a spoon. Yeah, I hit my best friend Boyd with a spoon. And I remember it. Just like it was yesterday. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he hit me with the spoon. <laughs> Let's get back to talking about shoes now. What shoe were we on? We did the orange one. Here are some shoes for girls. That's right. Girls like Star Wars. I know it's shocking. Girls like shoes. Well, I never saw a girl at school wearing Star Wars shoes. Never, ever. If I did, I probably would have been a love slave for her because a girl liking Star Wars as a kid back in the early 80s, that was a dream come true. But check out these girl shoes. I'm guessing they're girl shoes, and I'm not even sure why they're Star Wars shoes. It says, according to the information, it's a land speeder girl shoe. Doesn't look like a land speeder. Don't have a picture of a land speeder on it. I can't even see where it says Star Wars on it. But this is the girl's land speeder shoe. Now, we talked about Clark's earlier, how they gave you a free Star Wars bag to put your vintage Star Wars shoes in. Well, they also had another one that was white, and it showed you all the other shoes you could get. So when you get home with your new shoes, you could check out the bag and be disappointed that maybe you didn't see the one that you really, really love. Check this white bag out. Here it is, the Clark shoe with a great looking picture of Darth Vader and the heroes on the front. Flip it over and you can see the other shoes in the line you could have got. Luke Skywalker, the Tusken Raider shoe, the R2-D2 shoe, Darth Vader, Princess Leia, and 3PO. Now let's look at the R2-D2 shoe. You'd think that would be easy. Make it the color of R2-D2, right? Easy. No, not easy. Check this one out from Clark. It's black and gray. I don't know why that would be the color for an R2-D2 shoe. You'd think it would be blue and gray at the most. Here they are, some ugly Star Wars Clark shoes. Now you think you've seen some ugly shoes here? Let's go back and look at rain boots. The Ewok rain boots. And you're going to see probably the ugliest shoe ever made. Check out this ugly rain boot. There it is. Look at this. It's got a picture, I guess it's for the Ewok village. Looks like it might be from the Ewok cartoon series. Yep, you can see here an Ewok wagon. Couldn't really find any great pictures of it, but trust me, this is the car. But trust me, this is a picture of Ewoks on the side of the shoe. But those might have been cool if you were six or seven and didn't know any better. But you want me to show you the ugliest girl shoe ever? It looked like a shoe you would rent if you went bowling. It's ugly, and it's a Princess Leia shoe. Sorry, girls. Well, 
or is it just a princess shoe? Take a look. Here it is, the Star Wars Princess Leia shoe. But as you can see here, it just says princess on a little tag on the side. Doesn't have Princess Leia on the side. Doesn't have a picture of Carrie Fisher or Princess Leia. It just says princess. So are they Princess Leia shoes or just a princess shoe? I told you how my friend Boyd showed up in his Star Wars shoes with X-Wings on them, thinking he could outdo me. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But I'm going to show you the shoes I was wearing before Christmas. I didn't have to wait for Christmas to wear my new Star Wars shoes at school. Day one, the 1st of September, I was there in class in my Star Wars shoes. That's right. Day one, I was setting the record straight. I'm the Star Wars fan of this room. Boyd or whoever could come in after Christmas with their Star Wars shoes. I was the true Star Wars fan. Number one, day one, first of the year, I had my Star Wars shoes. That year before, when we got out of school, no one even knew what Star Wars was. We might have heard about it, but most of us didn't even see it till the summer. But when school started back, who was the kid sitting in class with the Star Wars shoes first? No, it wasn't Boyd. And no, it wasn't that football playing softball mega star John. It was me. Wearing my Star Wars shoes and wearing them in styles. Because I had a shoe and I didn't have Han Solo. I didn't have Luke Skywalker. I didn't have Darth Vader. Didn't have the Tusken Raider shoe. What shoe did I have? The one that summed up my love for Star Wars the best. May the force be with you. The shoe. Check these out. Blue and silver. Would have been a good color for the R2 shoe for sure. Can you imagine sitting in class with these shoes on your feet? You were setting a new standard for school excellence. Just wearing these shoes in class, you thought for sure you were going to get a reward for the best dressed in class. Now let's get to the bottom of it. Of course, these Star Wars shoes were cool and people could see you coming from miles away in your Star Wars shoes. And they would know, without a doubt, here comes a Star Wars fan. But you wanted people to know you were a Star Wars fan after you left. How could you let the other class coming out for recess know that, hey, a Star Wars fan was just here? Well, don't worry, Clark's had you covered. On the bottom of these shoes, they had the Star Wars logo and sometimes the character's face. So when you walk through mud or sand on the playground, you left an imprint of the Star Wars logo or the character shoe you were wearing. So it let the next class coming out to the playground know, hey, look, there was a Star Wars fan here. And... I'm sure gossip all started, so soon people would say, who was that wearing Star Wars shoes? And they'd say, oh, it was that cool older kid that wears the May the Force shoes. And everyone would know about me and my shoes. Now let's talk about the box for the Stride Right shoes, because it's so cool. You could take this box and use it as a great playset for your action figures. Check out the inside of the Stride Right Star Wars box. It looks like a hanger from Star Wars, and it comes with stickers of Lando, Darth Vader, and a rebel soldier, might be Luke. R2-D2 and C-3PO. But check out the inside. Doesn't it look like a hanger? You can stand your figures up in there and it will look very cool to have. So not only did you get some cool shoes, you got a cool little box to play with. And now check out these shoes. I'm not even going to comment on them because they're so darn ugly. Blech. Now when summer was over in 1980, Star Wars wasn't in fashion anymore. That's right, people have moved on. You couldn't wear your Star Wars shoes to school. Because everyone would laugh at you and say, hey, that movie's so three years ago. Friend Boyd had traded his X-Wing fighter shoes into Dukes of Hazzard shoes the year before. So, here I was back at school with the first of the year on day one, remind you. Yeah, I had to set the trends. And I wore the coolest shoes ever. I did. And when you see them, you're going to say, Jump Man, you were the Jump King back in school. Because I wore Boa Fett Empire Strikes Back tennis shoes. Check them out. They were made by Clarks, and man, did they look amazing. Blue and silver, and they had a photo of Boba Fett, the notorious bounty hunter on the side of it. Not only was the shoe amazing, but look at that shoe box. The Empire Strikes Back Star Wars Clark shoes. And did you notice Boba Fett on the shoe? It's the white prototype of Boba Fett. Not sure if they just made it white to save cost, or maybe these shoes were made really, really early before they changed the look of Boba Fett which is hard to believe they would have been working on the shoe already, but it's kind of funny that they have a white Boba Fett. And I don't know if you could tell on the back of the shoe, it said, The Empire Strikes Back. What was one other thing I really loved about these shoes? Well, from far away when they saw you coming, people would see the blue and silver shoe and knew you wasn't someone that just played around when it came to style. So they would see you coming, you would come up and talk to them, and that's when they would notice your little white Boba Fett, 
that would usually strike up a conversation with, hey, who's that on your shoe? Or, hey, why is Boba Fett white? Or, hey, are you a fan of that guy that captured Han Solo? You want us to beat you up after school? But the best part was when you walked off, or in that case ran off, they could see the back of your shoe said, the Empire Strikes Back. Yes, as you was running away, you could do a little advertisement that the new movie is out and it's called The Empire Strikes Back. Man, I love these shoes. Don't they look great? Now, we looked at a lot of ugly shoes, but you have to admit, for a kid shoe, for 1980, these Boba Fett shoes are pretty cool, and you're probably going to run to eBay now and try to buy some yourself. Although, these shoes, especially with that box, it's kind of hard to find. It's probably some of the hardest vintage Star Wars shoes to find, and I had them. Wish I still did. In fact, all these shoes in good condition are pretty hard to find. I don't really see them come up on eBay. I don't see many Star Wars vintage shoe collectors out there. But if you ever find any on eBay or at a used shoe store, make sure to give them a good smell before you bring them home. Anyway, that's a look at Star Wars Vintage Shoes. I hope in a way I found a way to make this video entertain. Wasn't easy. And again, if you want to support this channel, please share these videos on social media or wherever you like. And of course, thumb up my video so I know you like my content and what kind of content I should make. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Fred? What kind of shoes you got on there? Some Buster Browns? Take us out of here. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.